Hey friends, Gator Mom here. I hope you're doing awesome. Today I have a Jujube packing video to share with you. This bag is called the Be Nurtured and it is one of Jujube's breast pump bags. I have it packed up for a day out at a theme park, specifically Walt Disney World. And this super cute print is called Dot Dot Dot. <laughs> I have been promising a packing video on this style bag ever since it was launched and I'm excited to finally share it with you guys. I think it's gonna be really great for a long day out or a theme park bag. It packs a ton. I think it's gonna be great because of a couple of pockets that are throughout this bag and what it can hold, which I will show you as I get into the bag and what I have packed up inside and you'll kind of get my drift as I start getting into the bag. But I have it packed up for a day at Walt Disney World. We are Disney annual pass holders, so that's a lot of the packing videos that you've seen recently. A lot of you have seemed to be enjoying them and requesting them and kind of gearing up for those summer vacations that are coming up and a lot of you are local to either Disneyland or Disney World and like I said, are gonna be planning you know, summer vacations coming up. So um, that's what a lot of the content is that you've been seeing recently. But this one is packed up, like I said, for um, Disney World, but it can be specific to any type of theme park or long day out. But um, this is Jujubee's um, Be Nurtured and it is one of their breast pump bags. So one of these side pockets is specifically designed to hold a breast pump. Like I said, I obviously have it designed or packed up for a theme park, um, but one of these pockets is large enough obviously to hold a breast pump bag and that's this side pocket over here. And then there is another side pocket over here on the other side that is designed to hold all of those cords and parts that go um, to your breast pump. So keep in mind that is what this bag is designed for. It is a convertible style bag, so you have the option to carry it backpack style which is super cool for a breast pump bag. There's not many on the market that you have that um, option to um, wear it that way. You can also carry it um, with the shoulder strap that comes with the bag. I don't have that in this bag because we are gonna be backpack carrying it for the park. Um, you can carry it, like I said, shoulder style or messenger style. It has these large rings on the side so it easily attaches to a stroller, which is great. Um, so a lot of different ways that you can carry this one. Um, there are um, feet down here at the bottom so it stands up nice and secure. Um, it holds structure really well, so it's an all around really great bag, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right in and stop rambling and show you guys what I have packed up inside. You have two pockets here in the front. You have a smaller one and then you have a larger one down here at the bottom, which is like your mommy pocket. Um, up here at the top, you have like the nice metal plate with the GGB logo, and then you have a button magnetic closure. This one's pretty small. It's great for like tissues or um, small wallets or things like that. I have in here a package of wet ones. It fits really good if you just kind of fold down um, the side there. It's a good fit. Um, of course, going anywhere out long days, especially theme parks, you need tons of these. I usually um, always carry at least one or two packages of wet ones, but that fits great in that top pocket. Then moving down into the mommy pocket down here. I'm not sure if it's a very good ca camera angle, but I hope you guys can see um, how that pocket is designed there. But you have a zipper pocket inside and then you have one kind of mesh pocket and then you have a sunglass holder with a key leash. So attached here to the key leash, I just have extra hair ties. I always keep them throughout the bag. Like I feel like my daughter and I always need them like constantly all day out. And then um, I also have a B charged in here, which is my wallet. And then I have my sunglasses inside the sunglass holder. This typically is either on my face or on my head when we're out, um, but I just have them in here for the time being. And then I don't have anything sitting like inside the um, pocket. I have everything inside the mesh part of the mommy pocket. Um, if you guys get my drift, I hope you can see there in the camera, but I just have a um, big pack of gum. We actually haven't even gotten into that pack yet. Um, and then I have a bunch of stuff for me. I have a um, body shop hand cream. This scent is Satsuma and it's like a citrusy um, scent and I love it, it's really good. And then I have a stick from Posh. This is a Do Me Right. It's like a really, um, it's like a cooling um, stick. It's really good for when you're out in the sun. I have a um, uh, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer, a chapstick, an NYX lip butter. It's like all stuff for me. I have a big bottle of um, rose water spray for when it's really hot outside and I just wanna like spray it on my face and kind of cool down. I've been really liking that um, for being out like at the theme parks. Nothing else in like the mesh pocket of the bag. Back here in the zipper pocket, I um, think it's really good for 
the um, be tagged which holds all of our Disney annual passes I like to carry these because we always tend to need them even in addition to our magic bands um, this past trip my daughter lost her magic band which I have to buy her another one now um, and so we were using these as backup for our fast passes and sometimes we need them for discounts um, at like food or um, if we're buying something so they always need to see those and then I have cash in there also so in addition to like my you know cards sometimes I like to use the cash so I put that in that back zipper pocket there then moving on um, to the back of the bag I'll kind of turn it around and show you there and then we'll move on to the side pockets of the bag so on the back of the bee nurtured here like I was explaining earlier you have optional ways that you can carry the bag we have it obviously set up for backpack style the straps are so comfortable they're really really padded almost more i find than the bff style jujb i don't know if that's true or not i'm just saying kind of from observation but i feel like the straps are even more cushioned than the bff maybe just because they're seem to be longer to me i don't know but um it seems to be a little bit more comfortable to me but um again just my opinion but um they are on like a swivel clip so they're not hard to put on and off they don't like get tangled or anything like that um, but again if you don't want them flopping around if you just want it attached on your stroller if you just want to wear it crossbody or um like over your um shoulder you can definitely do that and then detach the um backpack strap so that's an option for you you have an awesome grab handle here which is great and then on the back here, you have one big pocket, which is awesome for traveling. You could fit like your laptop back there or iPad or electronics or change pad or what have you. Um, I just have a couple of loose papers. We just have like some play packs for entertainment for the kids. I have like some stickers. This is like a miscellaneous pocket really. Um, I have another play pack. What else is down there? We have, oh, I have this map here. Those of you that have been to Walt Disney World, this is an awesome thing to do in Adventureland. It's totally free. You get like this big map and you can go to all of these different stations. And it's just really cool. I don't want to give too much of it away, but you can um, hold up like your Disney pass or like your magic band and you can like do little checkpoints and your kids can, um, like I said, I don't want to give too much of away, but basically like different things happen at these different checkpoints and then you can turn this map in, which is why we still have it. And you can get like another map. And I think there's like six or seven different ones, but it's like a fun little treasure hunt that they can do um, in Adventureland where like the Pirates of the Caribbean and all that kind of fun stuff is. And my boy um, loved it, my oldest, and even my daughter, she thought it was really cool. So um, it's like a, it's like a fun little game that they can do. Um, and it's totally free. So, um, that's just something that they can do if you're, you know, in between fast passes or trying to, you know, find something to do at Disney. So we have that in there, um, right here in this, um, zipper pocket. This is your felt line pocket. And I just have my cell phone in there. Um, typically at Disney, I will have this either like in my hand or in my pocket because I'm forever taking pictures. But if we are going on a ride and I have this bag like between my legs or something like that, and I don't want to be holding this phone because it's like a roller coaster or a splash mountain or something like that, where I'm obviously not going to be taking pictures in the middle of the ride, then I will put this in that pocket because I don't want it like obviously to lose it on the ride. So that goes inside this pocket here. Now I'm going to start showing you the side pockets of the bag, which I think really makes it an awesome choice for a theme park um, over here on this side which is the side pocket that is designed to hold all of like the um, parts and things like that for um, your breast pump um, I have in here the um, uh, autograph type signature books for my kids I'm actually gonna move sorry I'm gonna be shaky just a little bit and move the camera back so you can see um, these are all of the character signing books for my kids and three of them fit perfectly in there um, They're all three the same size and we just my kids are kind of at that stage that they really like to use these and they fit Perfectly in that side pocket so they don't bulge They don't kind of put any stress on the zippers and they're like a really good perfect fit So there are some autograph books that are a bit bigger than these. These are the smallest ones um, I find that they're a perfect size for my kids. So um, we just put those in that side pocket. I think it's great. And then there's one mesh pocket here, which is great for all of those like breast pump cords, but 
it's also good to hold these pens. So these are all, um, these are my two kind of big kid pens, and then this one is for my little guy. So I just kind of have those stuck back there in that mesh pocket. Then moving on to the other side zipper pocket, which is what I'm so obsessed with in this bag. <laughs> I am like super excited, almost too excited about this, but um, I just have our magic bands here on the side until we go. I always loop them like on the outside of my bags. And you'll see I'm like minus one because my daughter lost hers, so super sad. But now she gets like a fancy princess one, so she's probably excited about that. But <laughs> anyways, so this pocket here is designed to hold the um, the actual breast pump. So it's the large one. If you don't have anything inside this pocket, you can definitely squish the um, like pocket to um, on the inside of the bag so that you can have more room on the inside. I hope that made sense. So in this pocket here, I have two water bottles um, on the front here. Um, they're just regular size, you know, like water bottles, drinking water bottles. We typically carry two to four when we go to the parks and then we'll refill them or buy more, whatever the case is. But what I have inside this pocket, which is like a huge game changer for me, is the refillable um, Disney popcorn buckets. And I love this. I've just recently bought it this last trip to Disney and we've had passes now for a few months, but I never bought one of these popcorn buckets before because I did not want to carry it around the park. We don't use a stroller. We just solely use a backpack. And this past um, weekend when we went, I actually bought one and I was carrying a GGB Mini B and I just strapped it through the um, like strap of my backpack and I was carrying it around and it was like, hitting the back of like my back and kind of like my hip and my husband was like totally making fun of me and he's like you're that mom with like the popcorn bucket on her hip and it looks like so funny when you're walking and I'm like yeah well I want popcorn and it's only like a dollar fifty or a dollar seventy five I think to refill this and it lasts for months um so I think it's a really good deal especially considering the amount of popcorn that my kids will go through um so I think this is an amazing game changer that it fits inside this backpack because I can totally see us sitting down for a parade or a show or whatever and my kids just opening up this side pocket and eating popcorn. Like, come on, like is that not amazing? Are you guys just as excited about that as I am or am I just like totally having a mom life moment and that's just way too cool? <laughs> I don't know, tell me I'm not like dorking out and that's as cool as I think it is. <laughs> Anyways, so I don't know about the big Mickey ear popcorn bucket, but that definitely fits like perfection and it's like not even a struggle obviously to put it in there. So if you guys are going to the park and you have a bee nurtured, buy a popcorn bucket. I think it's like $10 for this bucket. I don't know. I forget. Um, but, and then it's like unlimited refills for like $1.50 or $1.75 or something. So totally worth it. Anyways, we'll move on from that because I spent way too much time on that, but total game changer. But like I was saying, if you don't want to necessarily use this pocket for anything big like that, you can take this inside part and really push it in and not really um, take up that much space on the inside of the bag. So it just kind of depends on how you want to pack it. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up um, and then show you how I have the inside of it packed up. Looking down the top of the bag, you have two zippers that go almost down to the um, kind of midway point on the bag kind of show you here on the side. So it doesn't unzip the full way down on the bag, but there is like a double zipper pull, which is nice. And then I'm going to kind of fold the bag back a little bit here so you can get a good view looking down in the bag. You can really hold a lot in this bag. And I think it's a good choice for um, summer and winter, but um, there's a lot of room here at the top. So like in the winter time, for example, like you can put like extra like blankets or sweaters or things like that. Um, there's just a lot of like extra space here at the top. So I have my daughter and I's um, mini ears here at the top because we don't wear them all day. Um, the sparkles kind of tend to itch her ears sometimes. So we have them kind of on and off throughout the day. So I have those sitting there on top, but now you can really see like how much extra room you have there at the top. So you can really stuff it. Or if you have multiple kids that you need to carry change of clothes for, like if you, if you have like younger kids that you have to the need to carry like multiple changes of clothes, you can definitely do that. If you need to pack like extra quicks in here for, you know, like I said, different um, changes of clothes, you definitely have that option in this bag. So 
right here on top of the um, pocket that I had the popcorn bucket in, I have my monkey mat just sitting right there on top. This is a great thing for the park. You guys have heard me talk about this before. It's just a big kind of blanket. It's really nice to kind of spread out for like parades and shows and things like that. It just is kind of like a clean surface to sit on. Then over here on the right side, I have a medium set piece. And in here, I just have a bunch of small handheld toys for my youngest to just play with if he gets bored while we're trying to kill time for shows and stuff. So that's what's inside there. And then inside this large set piece, I just have a bunch of snacks for the family. I love to use this Toki Pop Sprint because it's kind of got like, you know, snacks and stuff on it. It's kind of cute, but um, inside here, I just have like a bunch of snacks. I'm not going to pull them all out, but they're like fruit snacks and granola bars for my husband and granola bars for me and peanuts and raisins and that kind of stuff that won't necessarily like spoil all day out at the park. So I have that inside this large set piece. Tons of snacks for all day. And then I threw these in here. My son and I really like these P3 packs. They have beef jerky and sunflower seeds and peanuts. So I have two of those in here just because they fit really well and like by midday they'll be gone anyway. So um, those are thrown in there. That's all I have kind of like sitting in the bag. And then at the very, very bottom down there, you can see I have a large um, Be Organized piece. And inside there, I have a change of clothes for my youngest. So he is four. He is completely potty trained, but being gone like all day long like that, I would never not bring him a change of clothes. There's so many times that he's gone through like, he's either had an accident or he's gone through like a um, ride or something and gotten wet and had a meltdown just because he didn't want his clothes wet. So um, I have a wet bag here um, by Jujube. This is like one of those mini wet bags that come in the Be Equipped set. And then I also have just a change of clothes. I have a shirt here for him, a pair of underwear, and a pair of shorts. So that all fits really well inside this Be Organized piece. And I like these in bigger bags because you can really fold them up and kind of make them the exact size that you need them to be inside these pieces. So. I have that down in there and that's everything inside the bag. There is one small kind of mesh pocket over there on the side and I actually have three little packs which will probably melt in the Florida heat but they're in these plastic things so I'm not so, so concerned but there's three little kind of M&M um, treats left over from Easter and I thought I would throw them in there for kind of like a special treat if they're being really good and like waiting for a parade or something. I can like give them some M&Ms or whatever. So. I have those down there in the bag. Then back here in the very back, I actually, there is one zipper pocket and it's kind of deep. It goes pretty far down in the bag and it holds a ton. So you won't believe what I have in this back zipper pocket and it actually doesn't tend to bulk up the bag. You know how sometimes like the back zipper pockets of bags will like end up taking up a lot of room in the bag. This one doesn't really do that, um, but I have a bunch of like small odds and ends type things that I just need, but I didn't really want to like take up a full pouch um, to hold them all in. Like I have a hairbrush and again, more hair ties for my daughter and I. I have a face sunscreen for the kids. I have one of those little secret travel deodorants for me. Um, like some of those little like tooth, like picker things. There's a um, little vitamin C emergency pack, another hair tie. Isn't that like six hair ties I pulled out of here? Um, there's like a tampon, eye drops. Um, what else is in here? A small coin purse. And then in here, there's just like a band-aids and medicine for my husband and I, and like a small little mini med kit type thing. And I think that's all I could have fit like a ton more in that pocket. There's so much room. Um, so it's a great little like hidden compartment that you don't necessarily like want the kids to get into. So that's a good little spot for that. So that's everything I have packed up in this Be Nurtured. I hope it gave you guys a good idea of what would fit in here and kind of some cool ideas on what you can pack in yours. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great day.